Hi, it's Lori, the armchair chef. Happy July. Um, I have still got a video to put up for popcorn month. I've had some difficulties at the end of the month not being able to get it done. And uh, today is what, Friday? I'm doing this right now. Had a traumatic dog walking experience. Some of the new people here don't like to keep their dogs on leashes. So at midnight, I decided to take my dogs out to go to the bathroom because, you know, I'm always up at midnight. Um, and since it's Friday night, somebody had was outside and had their dog out loose. So it proceeded to follow us around two buildings and through the sprinklers. I had to go through the sprinklers just to try to get away from this dog. And the owner kept calling it and it kept coming back. And the damn thing had a collar on. Why doesn't she grab the collar? I was getting to, I was getting ready to choke it out. I really was. And I could do it because I used to wrestle goats when we had our farm. I'd grab them by the collar and choke them out. You can do that with the dog too. I used to wrestle geese too. Now you get a little scratched up when you mess with the geese. But if it's you or them, I'll take a few scratches, you know. But yeah, my dogs are old. They can't handle that. That, that, you know, it's... My dog's not going to hurt them. No, that's not the point. My dogs are scared and it could cause them to be hurt because they're scared. So I went shopping and I'm getting some of that um, spray that the mailmen use, the pepper spray, and I'm getting a taser with a flashlight on it. So I have a flashlight if I go out at night. I can zap the fuckers. Oh, I can zap the little suckers. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be ready next time and um, spray them. So, but it gets you all worked up. The dogs are worked up. I was worked up. And um, so I thought, what's going to make me feel better? Well, eating popcorn maybe, but no. Opening up my Mary Max, some mystery yarn. Uh, it looks like there's two more craft boxes there's no way unless oh my god let me see no they sent me another one because I didn't buy another one. Oh wait a minute oh f I'm on page two shit <laughs> let me see what's on page one <laughs> Oh my god. What's on page one? Okay. Oh no! Oh my god. Yep. Two mystery boxes and two more craft bags. Boxes. After I opened those last two, I didn't want two more, but I guess I had already ordered them. Damn. I just wanted the raffle tickets. <laughs> now I've got five craft boxes or six craft boxes. I don't know. One, two, three, five. I have five. But I think the yarn's really pretty. Let me get to the yarn. Oh, yeah, there's some pretty stuff in here that I haven't got before. That'll be nice for a change. I happened to be online when Crystal posted that she put mystery um, bags up in her shop. And I looked to see how long ago it was and it was like 12 minutes. Oh, okay, let me go to the shop. Nothing there, nothing there. So I forget about it and I go back. I think I was at work and I looked and they were there. So I hurried up and got one. I was surprised how much they were. They were like $85 this time, plus shipping. So that was like, it was like a hundred something, $105 or something. And then I went back and she had had other boxes after that for like $45 that were just random knickknacks and things without labels and the odds and ends that you wouldn't you know give to somebody as brand new because there wasn't a label on it or something so yeah I got one of the big ones so I saw somebody open one or they posted pictures that they got it and I'm like they got it already 
they must live down the street from her because I just she just mailed them out yesterday I mean that's what the tracking says today Friday Friday she just mailed them Friday so I haven't got mine yet but I got one I expect it to be great and if it's not I will let you know I mean it's not like I have to tell you if something's good or not you have eyes you know yarn you can see for yourself I don't have to judge it oh my gosh this is nice I have some light three coffee shop I like the coffee shop this is pretty it's premier I love premier yarn okay six skeins to make a sweater so I have enough here for a sleeve just kidding they still make the coffee shop but yeah this is nice this is called Grand Canyon um, so this must be one of the coffee shops at the Grand Canyon acrylic and wool and what I did was I brought a bag with me to put this in and, okay now this is what I was really eyeballing look at that oh that is so pretty it's called painted oh, I've never seen this painted mist It's a Easy Care Self Striping Modal Blend. It's 58% Modal Acrylic Wool. Should be called a little bit of everything, but I think that name's already taken. This is gorgeous. How much is on this? It says it's a two, but look at that. Not exactly. Mm, I don't know. I guess that would be a two if you worked with it. That is pretty. That's uh, 273 yards. Oh my gosh, that is really pretty. And I've got some more Mellow Spun, which I got in my last batch, but I don't know. This is the, um, what color this is? This is... Dark Teal. So, I ended up with uh, three of the Dark Teal pretty and they sent the blue one which is periwinkle I got three of those I have a lot of these um, from the last bags it was the green I think the green and tan or brown and I have a hot pink oh this is cool Bell Day Home this feels kind of rough yeah, it's about as bright as what you see almost. It's called Party. Um, yeah, it's in another language, so it's kind of hard for me to read. 100% polyacryl, so probably polyester. Um, 50 grams, 200 meters. So this is very small. This is a one or a two. And I got a, oh, this is definitely a one, a shiny one. Look at it's got, can you see it's got glittery in it? Oh, it's that asshole. <laughs> asshole, A-S-S-O-L. I have some of this. This is nice. I have some of this already in, um, um, I was going to put it up on my Etsy shop. Maybe I'll put all of this up. This is pretty Christmassy. But it's a one. God, people really got to like to work with this stuff. That would make something pretty at Christmas. And, oh, looks like I got two of these. This is Colorscape Acapulco. This looks like wool. Looks like they're starting to get into their fall and winter stuff. This is totally different than what I had before. But you know they've sold a lot of these because of the raffle numbers were getting huge which is the only reason I bought this last one I just wish I hadn't bought the craft boxes I would have rather gotten 10 balls of taupe seriously than two more of those craft boxes but we'll see alrighty there's Acapulco and this should be Acapulco I got six of those those are beautiful look at that the glare it's not too bad that is gorgeous that wool it's a four which is nice um, 
color scape? No, it's acrylic. Good. I like to make things. Oh, good. Fair Isle. Liberty Chunky. I've got blue. I like this. I'm gonna, I, I've been gathering all the same kind together so I can see what I've got in that way. If there's, you know, enough for projects, it's nice because you can keep it all together. That's nice. This is beautiful. It's like a, uh, this is, would be with a silver, gray, and a blue. Christmassy. Um, royal, of course. And how much is on this one? Yeah, this is one that's in California. Um, 263, so that would be 526 yards. Alrighty. And I've got my raffle. What are we at? Oh my God. 1400. Wow. I went from 600 to 1400. They must have sold a lot of these things. Wow. My first one was in the 400s. And my last one's in the 1400s. That's a lot of mystery bags. So, and I didn't buy all of them, I swear. Cross my heart. Oh, this is really pretty. Is this knit? Yep. That's really pretty. That. It's a premiere. Uh, a baby cocoon would make a nice gift. That would also be crochet. That would be crochet. <gasps> oh, there's an oven mitt. Um, sugar and cream. Oh, this has some of that fuzzy stuff in it. That would be crochet. That's kind of cute. That would make a cute winter mitten. <laughs> <laughs> a bobbly little fun blanket with little bobbles on it. That would be crochet. And this is crochet. Little hot plates. Little, uh, like, uh, pot holders. This is different. I'm very, very impressed. This one was different than, oh, very different from the other ones. So, now let's see what the other bag has in it. If it's any different from this one. Let me zip this up. Um, like I said, I still have some popcorn to eat. I just couldn't get to it. Oh, and I have good news. I didn't break my um, microwave. I'm just not good at home fix-it stuff. I have one of those. You know how you have those plugs in the kitchen that automatically blow so you don't electrocute yourself? Well... I tried to reset it and it popped. So I thought I reset it. Well, I hadn't reset it. I didn't push it in far enough. So there was, it was off. I even checked the breaker in the box to make sure it was on and turned it off and turned it on again. So I thought, well, you know what? Before I box up this microwave, let me plug it into another outlet. So I plugged it into another outlet and it worked just fine. I mean, it turned on. I'm like, okay, my wall plug. I knew it, it, it had, yeah. So I just had to push that thing in further and to reset it. I don't know that. I've never popped one of them before. So if there was a man around the house, that wouldn't have been a problem. They would have known that. Okay. Let's see if this one's different. And if it's not, I will not open it. Um, nope, this one's exactly the same. Which is good in a way because I've got another one of those real pretty ones right there. I want that. It's gorgeous. And I have more of that green glittery stuff. That would be enough for somebody to make socks or something. That would be really nice. Somebody wants some of this for socks for Christmas or something. This real pretty shiny. Let me know. And I won't give it away. I'll just... Um, let me know if you want it, and um, we can, I can put it in a mystery box for you. So, yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, let me get my, um, my raffle ticket. Oh. Yep, another 1400 Okie dokie. Well, I'm going to be waiting for that. See, this is the same. So, 
let me get into the craft box and see if those is I wonder if anybody else is buying them or am I the only one buying them hmm I like those other ones I got but I found out those weren't from Mary Max and those were from Hershner's so that was kind of a bummer when I found that out I'm trying to drink more so I'm drinking Shasta diet grapefruit soda it's pretty good I did my um did my plasma today 42 37 minutes good I used a good arm and I drank a lot the night before and it took me longer to get in the chair than it did to circulate my blood so yeah I think it's gonna be the same I don't think too many people bought these I don't know maybe I'm wrong it just seems like this is five I'm gonna have five all the same but we'll see maybe there'll be something in here that'll surprise me okay. hi cleaners the only thing that's been different is the ribbon so far the ribbon's been a little bit different so in which I have uh, pearl headed pins oh, organza bags those are mine <laughs> oh I have sequin pins you know what that means I must have sequins Gold beads. I have ivory colored ribbon. Another white ribbon. My third roll of plaid ribbon. It could be my fifth. I do have five boxes. Maybe. I don't know. More of these gold things that nobody's told me yet what to use these for. I really don't know. Oh, maybe you put pins on them? I don't know. It looks like maybe you put a thing on the back that has the pin. A little pin that you hook on stuff. Uh, tell me what. Maybe I can make something. I don't know. Probably not, but at least I would know what they're for. Another ring sizer. More of these styrofoam balls. There's a gold one and a silver one with styrofoam hard foam with different shapes. Um, gold safety pins. Silver safety pins. You know when you used to hook all these together? You do that. And then hang something on the safety pins. A bag of bells. Yes, I love the bells. Um, a bag of sequins. With little holes that I thought was glitter, but they're just sequin holes. And a bag of beads that has something hard inside. Let's see what this one. It is. Oh, these are a lot of, kind of the same. They're green beads. Lots of green beads in there. And another bag full of these. Little silver beads. Jump rings. And... Lobster, you know these lobster clasps this size? They had them at Dollar Tree. I saw them today when I was there. And they had the jump rings too. I found one. It's over by my plasma center in a nicer part of town. They have nicer stuff. They don't have the bakery stuff there like I get the bread or the um, English muffins. But they do have more variety there. Not, not yarn. I was hoping to get more sewing stuff. I want to get more needles or if they had the crochet hooks. They have knitting needles. They just had one. But um, I did pick up a few more supplies. Just so you know, back to school supplies are out at Dollar Tree. And you can pick up some stuff there if you want for your giveaways you creators who are doing them, put in, your, put in your packages that you're sending to people. They have a lot of notepads, some really cute stuff, and another bag of these clear bobbles that somebody might want for something. And there's a whole, okay, let's get that closed up. Okay, now, let's open the other one and I'll put that in here. And, um, now there's no reason to buy anymore because there's no more raffle cards. So, let's put this in here. Yarn is going to go in my room, and I will put, I'll take a, I might just take a look and see if it's the same. I don't need to open it if it is. Oh, where did my pen go? I always put everything. Oh my God, there it is. Oh, I'll use my razor blade. If it's all the same, I won't take it out. I won't waste our time. anything different so far it's all the same got that my bags and that and that is the ribbon the same I got some red ribbon white and plaid 
sequins, beads, beads, styrofoam, baubles, bells, safety pins, and gold things. Yep, it's all the same. Five boxes. All the same. And I don't do this many crafts. I didn't finish the one I started two years ago. So, okay, we'll see. I just don't know. It was $35. Times five. Yeah, I, don't tell me. I don't want to know. I'm not even going to ask Echo to tell me. <laughs> but thanks for watching. This was my last Mary Maxim. I probably won't be doing it for a while. I've got to uh, start crocheting and getting some stuff done. That was my goal for July. To finish some projects that I have on my to-do list. Oh! Before I go... I have to say, um, we've had some very uh, so, some surprising events happening in the Arnie world. Just today, Doris took herself off the internet um, because of some family medical emergency. So she's gone. She's been online for six months. She decided to say goodbye and not uh, not put herself up on YouTube anymore so that's gonna be a real blow to the community she was very I loved listening to her talk it was she was so soothing and and um, I am gonna miss it I hope she leaves her content up because it was really good stuff she had some really good things and then Pamela Pamela's husband died so um, Pamela's adoring crochet and so we've had some very uh, some sad things happening in the community, so pray for everybody. Um, let's hope the summer doesn't get worse and everybody can stay safe and make it through the make it through the other side. Okay. Take care. Bye.